welcome to the Lazign Radar React System tutorial. A cutting edge cycling radar system seamlessly integrated into our industry leading LED lights. This system features the latest in vehicle radar detection technology, designed to enhance your safety and awareness on the road. But that's not all. We've also integrated several smart and innovative features to deliver a total visibility solution. Before we begin, let's explore the six different use cases designed to enhance your situational awareness and safety. Option one, the radar drive only. Use the radar drive to detect rear approaching traffic. The light will automatically trigger a flashing pattern alerting the vehicle behind you. Option two, the radar drive with the Lazine Radar Ally app. Use the radar drive to detect rear approaching traffic and receive visual and audio alerts on the app. Option three, the radar drive and a GPS bike computer. Use the radar drive to detect rear approaching traffic and receive visual and audio alerts on compatible GPS bike computers. Option four is the radar drive with the React drive. Use the radar drive to detect rear approaching traffic and receive visual and audio alerts on the React drive. Option five is the radar React system with the Lazign Radar Ally app. Use the radar drive to detect rear approaching vehicles and receive visual and audio alerts on the app and on the React drive front. Option six is the Radar React system with a GPS bike computer. Use the Radar Drive Rear to detect rear approaching traffic and receive visual and audio alerts on a compatible GPS bike computer and the React Drive. In this video, we will walk you through how to set up your Lazine Radar React system. This includes the radar drive rear, the React drive front, as well as the Lazign Radar Ally app. You'll learn how to connect and update your devices, as well as customize your settings to improve your riding safety with real-time radar alerts. Let's get started. Begin by removing any protective film on the lenses of your lights. Open the charging port cover located on the bottom of your radar drive. Turn the rubber strap and open the charging port located on the bottom of your React drive. Insert the USB-C cable. A green flash indicates regular charging. A blue flash indicates fast charging. Please note that fast charging is only available on the React drive. If there is no flash, the LED is not charging. Consider using a different USB-C cable or a different power outlet. A solid green power button indicates a full charge. While the light is on, an LED located in the power button will indicate the current battery status. And when your lights are off, Simply click the power button once to momentarily display battery status. Next, download the Lazign Radar Ally app from your App Store for iPhone or from Google Play for Android. Accept all permissions and allow notifications. This system is designed to support your situational awareness while riding a bicycle and should never replace your own judgment or attention to your surroundings. Please accept the safety disclaimer. Next, enable the Bluetooth on your phone to begin pairing your devices. Ensure your lights are within one meter of your phone. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to turn on your lights. Tap connect on the choose your device screen. Pairing will take a few moments. 
Do not turn off the light, shut down the app or walk away during pairing. The vehicle radar detection screen will appear. Your radar drive is now connected to the app and is ready to use on its own. To connect your front light, tap settings, the gear icon in the top right corner. Tap connect react drive front. The choose your device screen will appear. Tap connect. The main settings screen will appear. Tap the back arrow in the top left corner. You will return to the radar vehicle detection screen. Both lights are now connected to the app and paired to each other. You can now control both lights directly from the app. Tap front to toggle off or toggle on the front light. Tap rear to toggle off or toggle on the rear light. Below front, tap the modes tab. You can cycle through the modes on the front light. Below rear, tap the modes tab. You can now cycle through the modes on the rear light. Please note that you can also cycle through the light modes by tapping the power button. The corresponding light mode will reflect on the modes tab on the app. While riding your bike, when a vehicle is detected, the app will now provide visual and audio alerts of rear approaching traffic. The React Drive will also provide visual and audio alerts with its rear facing red LEDs. To update or customize your lights settings, tap the settings gear icon in the top right corner. Tap React Drive settings. Be sure to check that the latest firmware has been installed on your React Drive. The app will say React Drive firmware is up to date. Next, we'll take a look at React Visual Alerts. This will dim or brighten the rear-facing red LEDs. Tap high to brighten the LEDs during day. Tap low to decrease the brightness of the LEDs during the night. You can also adjust this setting on the home screen. The moon icon indicates the low night mode. The sun icon indicates the high day mode. Return to the React settings menu. Tap on React audio alerts. Please note that this customizes the audio alerts in the React drive only. Tap on multi-tone. Tap on single tone or tap on no audio alerts. Tap back to access the main settings menu. Tap on radar drive settings to access the options. Be sure to check for firmware updates in the menu. Tap update radar firmware. Tap OK. The update is now complete. Tap OK. Please check for the confirmation Radar Drive firmware is up to date. The next thing we are going to look at is the vehicle detection flash. This is a quick and powerful flash that is triggered when the radar detects a rear approaching vehicle. Toggle off to turn off this feature. Toggle on to enable this feature. Tap back to return to the main settings menu. We will now take a look at the inactivity timer. Toggle inactivity timer on. When the radar system has been inactive for two hours, the app will automatically disconnect from the lights and close to preserve battery. Let's take a look at audio alerts. Tap the audio alerts tab. Please note that this tab customizes in-app alerts only. Radar detection alerts can be customized with audio and vibration. The first tab is detection audio. Toggle on 
to receive an audio alert when a vehicle is detected and being tracked. Next is the all clear audio alert. Toggle on to enable an audio alert when the last vehicle detected has cleared the radar vehicle detection field. Lastly are the vibrational alerts. Toggle on to enable a vibration alert when a vehicle is detected and being tracked. The next tab that we will take a look at is disconnect and close. Now disconnect and close is slightly different between iPhone and Android. To disconnect and close your app on iPhone, swipe up to minimize the app and then swipe away to close the app. On Android, tap disconnect and close to close the app. Tap OK. The app is now closed. Do this after every use. Now that the app is closed and disconnected from the lights, you will save phone battery as app alerts have been disabled. Please note, after disconnecting and closing the app, Bluetooth and Ant Plus connectivity remain active in your lights. Your lights remain paired to each other and can now be used independently of the app. The React Drive will continue to deliver visual and audio alerts even after being disconnected from the app. The battery indicator light on both the React Drive and Radar Drive will remain on and illuminated showing battery status. To turn the LEDs off, hold the power button on the React Drive for two seconds. And then hold the power button on the radar drive for two seconds. Your lights have now entered standby mode. Bluetooth, Ant Plus and radar connectivity remain active. The lights are ready to reconnect to the app the moment the app is reopened. This is indicated by a green flash on the battery indicator light every two seconds. In standby mode, the battery will continue to drain in your lights. To fully turn off your lights, Bluetooth, Ant Plus and radar connectivity, hold the power button for five seconds until the LEDs blink rapidly. Release. Your lights are now fully off. The battery indicator buttons also remain off. Now the lights will not drain battery. The lights will reconnect and pair when the app is reopened and the lights turned on. To turn on your lights, simply hold the power buttons for two seconds. The last tab that we will take a look at is Forget Bluetooth Devices. Tap Forget Bluetooth Devices to disconnect the lights from the app and unpair the lights from each other. Radar alerts on the front light will also be disabled. Use this option to reconnect your lights or pair a new set of lights. You have now successfully connected your devices, updated the firmware and customized your settings to improve your riding safety with real-time design radar alerts. We will now briefly take a look at how to pair your Radar React system with a compatible GPS bike computer. The Lazine Radar React system is compatible with GPS bike computers that support Ant Plus Radar or Ant Plus Radar and light controls. Please review your GPS bike computer's user manual on how to pair Ant Plus Radar and Ant Plus lighting devices. Once paired, your GPS bike computer will show you active radar detection alerts, and if supported, allow you to control the light modes directly from the unit. 
For further setup instructions on the remaining Radar React system use cases, please refer to the e-manual linked in the description below. For additional support, visit support.lizine.com. Thank you for choosing Lizine. We hope this guide helped you get the most out of your Radar React system. Stay safe, stay seen, and enjoy the road ahead with total visibility.